let us look at some of the positives, some of the important changes this budget has brought about. I think the finance minister has taken a, a serious leaf on the uh, the suggestions and proposals which have been swirling around prior to the budget, which is to give importance to job creation. Uh, jobs have been tough to come by, and a large number of youths, especially the the those still are just out of college, out of schools, are finding it difficult to get jobs because they're not skilled. So this budget has laid a lot of importance on that. Uh, if you see uh, budget 2024, um, the for it has a big it has a big thing for professionals entering the workforce. Uh, Sitaraman announced that the center will give a one month salary to those joining their first job. This is a great jump. This amount will be provided as a provident fund contribution, and the move will I mean that is what she claims will benefit as many as 2,000, as many as 210 lakh youngsters. Uh, this, is a, this is a very important development. Uh, beyond that, the finance minister has also said that uh, through a direct benefit transfer, that means direct transfer of funds, first-time employees registered with the Provident Fund organization will get a month's salary, up to 15,000 in their PF accounts in three installments. Uh, this will be, of course, compensated by the employer, but for a starting person to get a month's salary as a as a sort of uh, as a backup, as a as an important starting point, is is a big plus. Beyond this, I think the the finance minister has also attempted to continue uh, the easing or rather simplification of the uh, the tax slabs and the tax payment regime, which is again a big positive. One of the good things that has happened is standard deduction in the new tax regime has been increased from 50,000 to 75,000. And a new uh, slab has been added, which is the slab between 3 lakhs and 7 lakhs. And these that slab will only be taxed 5%. So this is again a, a, a positive. As far as salaried employees go, they can save up to 17,500 in income tax under the new slabs. Uh, the budget has made no changes to old, to old tax regime, which is, I think, an attempt to get people onto the new tax regime as soon as possible. All these are extremely uh, positive developments. And beyond this, I think there's also been an attempt to uh, ease the pressure, ease the pain, uh, where uh, certain sensitive areas of uh, uh, where people are, are sort of in discomfort in those areas. For instance, uh, it's a big positive that cancer medicines will now come down. Uh, the, the basic uh, customs duty on the import of three important cancer medicines has been brought to zero. Uh, solar cells, X-ray tubes, fish, and uh, what goes into, uh, into breeding fish, that has been brought down. These will all benefit the common man and cancer being widely prevalent. I think this is an extremely important step. Besides that, uh, the important thing is mobile phones, which is now every poor man's communication system uh, also has been brought down uh, to 15 percent, which will make uh, a mobile smartphone more accessible to the public. Uh, besides that, there are a few uh, expense items which are going to go up, like telecom goods are going to go up, plastic goods are all going to go up from 10 to 25 percent, and this is maybe a negative, but I suppose it is towards generating more tax for the economy. Uh, overall, uh, for the salaried employees and for first job seekers, there's a lot in the budget, and these are some of the positives that we must uh, acknowledge.